Good day grade tens. Today we're going to be looking at water of crystallization. Some salts contain water that is trapped within in the crystal structure as crystals are formed. You've seen this before um, in copper sulfate. This here is a beautiful copper sulfate crystal and the water that is trapped inside the crystals and they're formed is called the water of crystallization. So we've seen it before. The copper sulfate when we crush it form becomes white and then when we add the water it becomes blue and as it crystallizes it keeps a blue color and the reason it's blue is because of the water of crystallization. Now that we need to look at how we write this. So for example copper sulfate we would write copper sulfate dot 5H2O but what does this mean? It means that there are five moles of water of crystallization per every one mole of copper sulfate. That means that they've got five water molecules that are attached to every one molecule of copper sulfate. Let's look at another example, magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate, again, it's got seven moles of water and these water, seven moles of water of crystallization are attached to one mole of magnesium sulfate, one mole of magnesium sulfate. So, please understand that this dot is not a times. In this case, it's a plus. What we're saying is that one whole molecule is made up of magnesium sulfate plus seven water um, moles of water crystallization. Okay, so now the type of question you're going to get on this is they're going to say determine the number of moles of water of crystallization in the salt. So let's read the question. It says aluminium trichloride, which is AlCl3, is a crystal with water crystallization and it's represented by AlCl3 dot NH2O. So what we're going to be looking for is N here. Five grams of aluminium trichloride is heated until all the water is evaporated. The mass of heating after heating is 2.8 and they want to know what is the number of moles of water of crystallization. So it seems like a scary question but if we do it step by step you'll see it's actually really easy. Step one, we need to find the number of water molecules, okay? But first we need to note the mass of the water loss. So if we look at this, we see that we've got five grams of aluminium trichloride initially. Then we heat it up until all the water is evaporated. And now we've got 2.8 grams, which means that 2.2 grams of that was water. 2.2 grams of that was water. So if we then look at the mass ratio between the AlCl3, which is the aluminium chloride, and the water, you can see it's 2.8 to 2.2. Right? Everybody happy with that? 2.8, because the 2.8 of that is the aluminium chloride, and 2.2 is the water. Right, now we need to find the mole ratio. So what we do is we divide each of those by the molar masses. So we take our 2.2, because you know that the number of moles is mass of the molar mass. Let me just write this in so that you see what I'm doing. Okay, in color, we're going to choose, okay. We know that number of moles, where is this thing writing? There it is. Number of moles is mass over molar mass. So what we've done here is we've said, okay, this is the mass, and that is the molar mass of aluminium chloride. So the molar mass of aluminium chloride is 133.35. So the number of moles of aluminium chloride we have is 0.02. The molar mass of water is 18.02. So then we've got the number of moles of water is 0.012. Okay, so now what we have is a mole ratio. First we found the mass ratio, then we found the mole ratio. Right, now, all we have to do then, we've done that, now what we have to do is convert the ratio to whole numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide both the sides by the smallest number. So we're going to get 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.02 and 0 0.012 to 0 0.012 and you get a ratio of 1 to 6. 1 to 6, which means that for every one aluminium chloride, you have got 6 waters of crystallization. So one mole of aluminium chloride 
will give you six moles of water crystallization. So your N, which is what they asked you to find, was six. Okay, so it's very easy. All you do is find, basically, let's go through this again. You find the difference between how much of it was solid and how much of it was water crystallization. You put that in a ratio. You find the mole ratio by dividing by the molar mass. Now you've got 0 0.02 to 0 0.12, but you know you can't have half a mole or a quarter mole or anything like that. So what do we do? We divide by the smallest number. So we divide by the smallest number, we get 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.02 and 0 0.012 to 0 0.012 and you get a ratio of 1 to 6. So that means we've got 6 mortars of crystallization to 1 aluminium chloride. And that's it with regards to water crystallization. Please go through the assessments and make sure you can understand this and you know how to work it out. Thanks, grade 10s. Have a great day.